Fall to me is the best time to break out double oaked bourbons, which is one of my favorite subcategories of bourbon. And these are five of my favorite double oaked bourbons. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad, and today we're going to get to talking about some really good and my personal favorite double oaked bourbons. Now, disclaimer, before we get too far into this episode, I have not tried every single double oaked bourbon on the planet. In fact, one of them I don't even have the bottle for, but it's so undeniably delicious that it can't not be on this list. We'll talk about that when we get Second, these are all relatively findable, except for one. Well, except really for two, unless you live in North Carolina. But they're all delicious. These are in no particular order. So let's go ahead in with the one that I don't have right now. And that's this bottle right here. I'm going to, I'm going to freeze right here and it's going to pop in here. This is Woodford double oaked. I adore Woodford double oaked. In fact, I think it's my favorite thing that Woodford makes. I'm not a big Woodford fan. I think I have two bottles of Woodford reserve on my shelf and they are both bottles that I probably will never open. I was wrong. I have one bottle of Woodford reserve and it's over here. It's a rye. And it was, that was just having me the distillery. We were at the day after me and my fiance got engaged. And so it's got like our names on it and the date, blah, blah, blah. But Woodford Double Oaked is good. Uh, I think Woodford Double Oaked is what made Double Oaked mainstream and made people kind of look at it and go, wow, we should do something like this. And a lot of distilleries have, and I, there's one brand in particular that hasn't done it yet. And I'm curious why they haven't done it. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little later when we get to the end of the video. If I, well, I'll forget. So let's go ahead and talk about it now. I'm surprised Buffalo Trace hasn't done something that's like a branded double oak. Maybe that's coming down the line at some point. But uh, the other four I do have here. Let's get into them. And again, no particular order. I'm just going to reach down whichever one I touch first. I'm going to grab. I'm looking. Where are they? Oh, probably my favorite double oak. This is Peerless Double Oak. I love this bottle so much. I think the reason I like peerless double oak so much is it gives me like banana bread vibes and anything I can get like toasty warm caramel and banana on I'm here for it and peerless double oaked is like one of my favorite bourbons of all time I love it so so much I know it's a little pricey around 80 to 100 bucks depending on where you get it but it's really, really good. And if you've never tried it before, it's a solid double oaked. It's, I think, I think if you're a beginner getting into double oak stuff, that's a really good direction to go down. Uh, it's really, really solid. So let's move on to the next one. This one is available at pretty much every liquor store on the planet. And I'm guaranteeing you, you've had it. If you haven't, you should. Old Forester 1910 is an absolute banger of a bottle. 60 bucks for a double oak. I haven't had this in quite a while, but I tasted it just a minute ago. And it's, I think it's actually, this is what's in this glass right here. It's just so good. Old Forester 1910 is an absolute banger for the, especially for the price. My only complaint is I wish it was higher proof. It's 93 proof. If this was like at a hundred, 110 proof, you'd be looking at like one of the best things on the market. It's so incredibly delicious. Again, you get those banana bread vibes, those like, you know, super dark caramel and brown sugar notes in this. But if you're, if you're watching this and they're trying to force 1910, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's absolutely delicious and I highly, highly recommend it. So if you've never tried it, get, get a bottle of it. Moving on to the next one. So this one right here is probably the most hard to find bottle on this list. This is the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled Heritage 2023 release from last year. This is incredible. Uh, of course, it's a Brad's Bourbon Reviews video. You can tell because there's a Jack Daniels <laughs> bottle on it. I love this thing. This thing has a unique nose that's different than most double oaked. This is a twice barreled rye. And on this one, I get like, I get a Twizzler nose for some reason. And they do their aging for, for a little bit of time here. This was put into the first barrel on March 13th, 2015, and then second barreled on November 18th of 2020. And so it sat in there. It sat in the first barrel for over five years and then the next one for three. That's a long time for, for a double oaked. So... And, it, and they did a great job with this. This is an unbelievable bottle. This is one of those for me, if you, if you are going to, you know, splurge a little bit and try to get a, a, you know, a more hard to find bottle for a special occasion, you'd be hard pressed to find a better bottle for the money than this. I mean, even at secondary, this is an incredible bottle. So I haven't drank much out of it because I'm cherishing every drop of this. Uh, it is a 700 milliliter bottle. So keep that in mind if you're, if you're out looking, but it's an unbelievable bottle. Moving on to the last one. This last one here is Conviction Double Oak 1929. This bottle in particular is National Bourbon 2024 Heritage Month Tasting Panel Barrel Pick, which is the thing I gave tickets away to not too long ago. But as good as this one is, I would still say anything from Conviction is from their Double Oak line is incredible. I've had probably six to seven different samples of what they've done for the double. Oh, it's probably more than that, actually, because I've been on one of the panel picks. Yeah, I've probably had more than that. I've probably had 10 to 15 different samples. 
This one is my favorite, to be honest. But I think no matter what you do from Conviction Double Arc, you're going to get a really solid, solid bottle. Um, now, remember, this says five years, but that's before it's aged. They can't factor in the second time aging. So it's, it's around a six or seven year, I believe. And you can tell, I don't know if you can see, they don't, they don't do any chill filtering. So I don't know if you can see here, but there is, I don't know if you can see, I don't know. There's, there's barrel in the bottom of this. And I love seeing that. These are great. If you live in North, if you live in North or South Carolina, I highly recommend conviction, anything, but I love their double oak stuff. So my favorite stuff they make is the double oaked. So if you can find this, I would definitely tell you to go grab one. Uh, I know they are down a case of these because I bought a case of these for the patrons. And that is the video. Those are five great double oaked bourbons. If you haven't tried, try them. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. If, if we can hit 2,500 subscribers by the end of this year, 2024, I'm gonna do a three allocated bottle giveaway. So make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, cheers. A big thank you to all the Patreon supporters you see on screen right now. 